Hello, my name is Matan, and in this video, we'll go over CNC motion in Agito controllers. We'll shortly go over what is CNC, then we'll go over the CNC window, showing how to add and edit segments, and we'll simulate an example. Then we're going to show two G code examples. In the first, we'll see what we can do in PC Suite with the loaded G code, such as automatic corners, and we'll go over the different segment types. In the second, I'll show a step-by-step -step process of me generating G-code, then loading it to our PC suite, and moving our gantry stage. I'll be using our AGD200 for the simulations, and our AGD301, which is a 3-axis integrated controller, to move the XY gantry stage. Let's get started. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control, and refers to computer-controlled machinery, which performs any kind of material alteration. This includes 3D printers, mills, plasma cutters, and the list goes on and on. The commands are given by G-code and M-code, which define to the CNC system exactly what to do, if that's to move to certain positions, turn lasers on and off, etc. Ajita supports the major G-code commands such as linear motion, arc, and also M-code, such as setting extruder temperature for 3D printers. Okay, let's go to PC Suite. I'm already connected to an AGD200. Let's go to Motion, CNC. This is the CNC window. Here we can manually create CNC trajectories with many different types of segments, load G-code, and record and analyze the motions. We can right-click on an existing segment and add many types of segments, which we'll go over later. Or, to edit a segment, we simply left-click on it and change whatever parameter we want. For now, I'm going to load a predefined motion. I'll record the axes as a function of each other to see the overall motion. And I'll mark these checkboxes to automatically start recording when the motion starts. I put both my axes in simulation mode, so no motor will actually move for now. This is just to demonstrate how to use the CNC feature. OK, let's click on Begin CNC. We can see the overall motion on the bottom right graph and the individual motions of each axis on top. Next, let's load some G-code. For the first example, I'll use a rectangle I created G-code for. Here's what it looks like. And here's the G-code I generated for it. The units are in millimeters. Now I'll click on Load and choose Rectangle. An interface window pops up to help me configure how the PC suite should convert the G-code to the Agito controller language. Okay, which axes am I using? X is A and Y is B. Maximum accelerations, I'll leave as is. Resolution. Let's assume my encoder resolution is 10 microns, so I'll input 100. I'll leave the maximal velocity and acceleration as is. The feed rate conversion factor simply means that if I specified a feed rate of 10 in my G-code, then a conversion factor of 100 will mean a speed of 1000 counts per second. Motion mode. I want the first linear motion to go to the starting position, so I'll choose adaptive. Automatic corners. If you wish a continuous flow with minimal stops, a sharp angle isn't desirable due to extremely high acceleration and deceleration demands. The automatic corner feature allows you to automatically round corners using these two methods. Either choose the radius method, which determines the radius of the corner, or choose the error method. This automatically defines the radius that will deviate from the original corner by the specified amount. The acceleration limit type allows the controller to actively change the velocities in the corner so that the system doesn't exceed the maximal accelerations. The heater and special extruder are M-code commands for 3D printing, so that's irrelevant for now. And we'll create a user program later on. Click on Convert, and here are the rectangle segments. Notice how between each linear segment, we have a segment called Auto Corner Motion. This is because of our automatic corners. We also support different methods of segment blending, 
allowing you to control how the different segments interact with each other, allowing for constant velocity between segments, and much more. Let's quickly go over some of the other possible segments. Wait for a certain period of time, write to discrete outputs, write to one of our user arrays and wait for a trigger. Using some of the possible segments, we're able to fully synchronize the CNC motion with any other part of the system. Let's click on Begin CNC to start the motion and record. We can see here the separate motion of both axes, and we can see here their combined motion. We can also create a user program of this CNC motion. To do that, we can simply click on Create User Program, choose where we want to save it, then go over to Program, ID Plus, and open the project we just saved. Here we can see all the segments we saw earlier in their user program format. Each segment was created with comments detailing each parameter. Now I'm going to quickly go over an example I made. We don't have a three axis stage right now to cut something cool, so I'll just show you something I improvised with our XY gantry system. I'll show how I generate G code for the spinning gear in our logo, how I load it to PC Suite, and run the gantry system, which starts drawing the gear. For more details on how our CNC feature is built, its syntax, how the segment blending is implemented, and details on the different segments, check out the documentation in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.